वेलकम फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार लेट अस टेक अनदर केस फॉर कैलकुलेशन ऑफ कोएफिशिएंट ऑफ कोरिलेशन थ्रू द फॉर्मूला बाय डेफिनेशन एंड वी आर आल्सो गोइंग टू कंपेयर द कोएफिशिएंट ऑफ कोरिलेशन कैलकुलेटेड बाय अस थ्रू दैट फॉर्मूला विद द अदर वन वी हैव अ सैंपल डेटा ऑफ x एंड y x टेक्स वैल्यू 19 17 17 14 16 12 15 12 एंड 13 द समेशन इज 135 And 135 divided by 9, that is sigma x upon n, gives us x bar 15. Similarly, this is variable y. The summation is 225, and y bar is 25. Now the first step is to find out x minus x bar. That means we need to subtract 15, that is x bar, from each and every value of variable x. 19 minus 15, 4. 17 minus 15, 2. 17 minus 15, 2. 14 minus 15, minus 1. 16 minus 15, 1. 12 minus 15, minus 3. 15 minus 15, 0. 12 minus 15, minus 3. 13 minus 15, minus 2. Similar. Uh, okay. The positive value summation is plus 9. Negative value summation is minus 9. So we here have absolute 0. That means this column is correct. Now again, we need to find out y minus y bar. In the same way, subtract y bar 25 from each and value, every value of the variable y. That gives us 32 minus 25, 7. 28 minus 25, 3. 20 9 minus 25, 4. 24 minus 25, minus 1. 26 minus 25, 1. 20 minus 25 minus 5, 24 minus 25 minus 1, 20 minus 25 minus 5, 22 minus 25 minus 3. The summation of positive deviations is plus 15 and summation of negative deviations is minus 15. So absolute zero is there. Again, we can conclude that this column is also correct. So now we can move forward. The next step is to find out x minus x bar into y minus y bar. That is product of the deviations taken from Mean four into seven twenty eight two into three six two into four eight minus one into minus one 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 into one one minus three into minus five fifteen zero into minus one zero minus three into minus five fifteen minus two into minus three six and the summation is eight zero eighty. From this much data we can calculate the covariance. To calculate S x and S y, the standard deviations of x and y, we should have x minus x bar the whole square and y minus y bar the whole square. These are the squared values of x minus x bar as well as y minus y bar. Four square sixteen, two square four, two square four, minus one square one, one square one, minus three square nine, zero square zero, minus three square nine, and minus two square four, and the summation comes to forty eight. Similarly. Y minus y bar all square seven square forty nine three square nine four square sixteen minus one square one one square one minus five square twenty five minus one square one minus five square twenty five and minus three square nine. The summation is one hundred thirty six. Let us first calculate covariance S X and S Y. Covariance will be sigma. X minus x bar into y minus y bar upon n minus one because this is sample data. Okay, the value of x minus x bar into y minus y bar is eighty. N is nine. Nine minus one eighty minus eighty divided by eight. So the covariance of x y comes to. That means there is positive relationship between x and y. In on an average, in general, there is positive relationship between x and y. Now let us calculate s x and s y, or standard deviation of x and y. S x is under root sigma x minus x bar the whole square upon n minus one because this is sample data. So it will be forty-eight divided by nine minus one. Forty-eight divided by eight. That is under root six. Is it under root six? Yes, it is under root six, and it is approximately two point four five. Similarly, we can calculate standard deviation of y. S y is under root sigma <coughs> y 
minus y bar the whole square upon n minus 1 because this is simple data uh, that is under root 136 divided by 9 minus 1 that is 136 divided by 8 that is under root 17 so sy comes to 4.12 approximately now we have see all the three ingredients of calculation rather formula by definition for calculation of coefficient of correlation coefficient of correlation is the ratio of covariance of x and y to the products of the two standard deviations covariance is 10 sx is 2.45 and sy is 4.12 so it is 10 divided by 10.094 approximately so the coefficient of correlation comes to 0.99 not perfect but very near to the perfect relationship 4.99 here also see it is 10 against n9 approximately around 1 but this is not the example of correlation because r is not exactly 1 so we call it partially positive correlation so this was calculation of coefficient of correlation through the formula by definition now we can get the same result through another formula which formula the simplified version of this formula to use this formula we had to calculate coherence standard deviation of x and standard deviation of y but we have other formula which directly uses these summations coefficient of correlation equals to sigma x minus x bar into y minus y bar upon under root sigma x minus x bar the whole square into under root sigma y minus y bar the whole square let us substitute the values sigma x minus x bar into y minus y bar is 80 under root x minus x bar the whole square is under root 48 under root y minus y bar the whole square is under root 136 okay now what uh, that comes to 80 divided by uh, you have to calculate 48 into 136 and then square root that will give us the value 80.796 so again the coefficient of correlation comes to approximately 0.99 see the same answer is there but the calculations were made through two different formulae this formula is somewhat easier because we do not require any result to be calculated before using this formula we can directly substitute the summations in that formula see the summation of last three columns but this is also not the easiest formula this formula is easy to use in this particular case because we have two means as integer values but if we get the means as fractional value any one of the two means as a fractional value it is not easy or it is not advisable to use this formula so from the next lecture we will be moving to use another formula very easy formula my favorite formula to calculate coefficient of correlation that's it for now thank you very much